Hey guys, this is a video, my third video talking about the lossless scaling. Again, I will say I'm not sponsored, I'm just giving my opinion and uh, the different games I've used to to increase or double my FPS, my stable F FPS in an existing game. So, uh, this is the little app, so I'm going to click launch. Um, I showed you guys how to use it. It's very affordable, it only costs $7 in Steam, and you can get this up and running, and then you can pick Counter-Strike 2, Call of Duty, Apex, whatever game you want to play. It can be a Ep Epic Games, or a Steam game, or any game on your PC, and you'll be able to make use of the frame generation uh, technology LSFG, and I've showed you guys how to do that, but um, I just got finished going through a recording uh, of the finals. So um, I got a comment. Let me see, where's the comment? I got a comment here on the channel saying uh, if I could do this on the finals, it's somewhere around here. There we go. So a uh, shout out to Tip Kit Gamer. Uh, could you try on the finals? So um, this is what I did. So I'm going to show you guys that recording. Let me go ahead and jump into the recording. Here it is. All right. So I'm going to try to uh, mute this because we don't want to hear my... Anyway, uh, so if you look at the video here, um, I'm showing you that uh, in, order to, in order for this to get to work, um, you need to determine what is your stable FPS in, in the game. In this case, um, I am on a Resin 5 2600X. Uh, a bit old CPU, uh, but still you can use it for gaming uh, with a Intel Arc 380 uh, GPU. So it's the entry level, essentially the entry level uh, graphics card. And I'm look, I'm I've capped the game. So if you look at the beginning of the video, let me go back over here. At the beginning of the video, I show you guys my settings. Um, for this lossless to work, you need to make sure it is a windowed full screen or borderless full screen. Uh, it has to be windowed, in other words. Uh, all low settings. So let me jump back to the video here. Uh, so yeah, um, in a minute I'm going to activate. I think it may be activated here already. Um, but you can see I capped the frames. My stable, I, I play this game a bit. I know that on this particular setup, I'm able to get constant easily 60 frames per second. Uh, so here I'm about to show you, if I recall, the recording. Uh, there you go. So this is the FPS draw. This is the equivalent of what MSI Afterburner or the Riva Turner statistics server tells about FPS. So the FPS here is 75, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Um, this monitor I'm working with is a monitor that, uh, fortunately, un or uh, fortunately or unfortunately, only can give me a max uh, refresh rate of 75 hertz. So, um, going back, if you look at the other videos I've made about the lossless scaling, um, depending on, you see here, I'm actually showing you the app here. This is how you know. Right now, I unscale it. I, I can go back to scaling it. I'm going to show you guys. Here is locked at 60 frames per second. In the settings of the game, I locked it at 60 frames per second. And again, I'm showing you here that you know I take I took off the loss of scaling. So here we have a true 60 frames per second. That is what the GPU is rendering uh, with this game because I set it I set it that way. Okay, what the lossless scaling does it um, generates additional frames so that you can go beyond your, your what you cap the game at so since I am on a 75 Hertz monitor that's the max that is going to show but if you look at my other videos where I did Call of Duty where I did Fortnite um, best if, if I had a better monitor for this setup right here that I'm showing you my 60 frames per second would jump up to 120 frames per second. So 120 frames per second is very nice uh, considering this low end hardware. And there again, I'm showing you the proof that I'm getting the 75. Again, I ha haven't fully cool, uh, fully understood why MSI Afterburner is not picking up the uh, extra generated frames that the lossless scaling app is giving us. But um, maybe in, in the future, they'll, they'll, uh, uh, the app will uh, somehow make itself uh, known to MSI or other FPS counters to say, hey, this is the FPS that I'm actually gender generating in this bordered or this windowed uh, screen on your computer. So I will say, you know, it, this is a good alternative, like for a low-end computer. 
and this is a low end, kind of pretty much kind of like a low end computer this one that I'm playing off the finals but hypothetically if I had a a monitor that had 120 frames per second or 120 uh, refresh rate um, I would essentially be able to use this lossless scaling app and I'll be able to get 120 frames per second from my capped 60 frames per second so it would make the game look smoother a little bit but much a little bit better right instead of the 60 frames per second doubling that essentially I will say it's kind of hard to see nice I got a kill um, uh, I will say that uh, I think we get this guy <laughs> uh, I will say that there is a little bit of tearing or ghosting now if that's not a problem for you then this lossless scaling app which only costs seven dollars I highly recommend because you know I noticed the input the input um, the input delay is not it's not really noticeable I'm able to play this uh, competitive fast-paced games you can see that I'm doing a, more or less okay I'm not lagging or anything like that but um but there I just wanted to show you guys a proof again shout out to the person in the comments that requested this but this lossless scaling app essentially works in any game uh, pretty much any game any PC game essentially and I'm showing you again the proof that it's it's doing the frame generation rendering there and it's 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 I'm pretty happy with this app again I'm not sponsored I'm just thinking of ways that people uh, that have a low-end computer how they can double their FPS in any game uh, with you know some minor sacrifices like you know seven dollars you got to pay for the app and maybe if you're you know accepting of the little ghosting there's some ghosting that happens when you move the camera fast uh, you know not necessarily you won't you'll see it here again I'm using my my smartphone to record this and I think my smartphone is actually capped at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second and again you're not appreciating what what I saw with my own eyes the the 75 refresh uh, rate on my monitor uh, so again this is the lossless scaling and I just provide you guys some evidence that it works in uh, the finals again this is more geared towards any type of computer particularly low-end computers that are struggling with the FPS on different games and again I'm showing you the evidence there that have the scaling frame generation turned on and I just want to highlight to you again I, I need to further understand the technology techno, the, the technology why as to MSI Afterburner is just showing me again MSI Afterburner is only concerned of what the actual GPU the graphics card is rendering or giving out to this game which is say the GPU is saying graphics card look look this is a I'm gonna I want you to be capped at 60 frames per second here you go and then what this uh, app does it sits on top of your uh, border uh, wind full screen borderless window here that we've set the game settings on the finals and it says all right I'm gonna use this window and I'm gonna further generate some additional frames and normally I would double it from 60 to 120 but since this monitor is a 75 Hertz monitor as you can see that's what the maximum um, FPS that I'm able to be here get this but if I were to hook the hook up another monitor like a monitor that's 240 Hertz then uh, the, the, the number that you'll see there in the upper left corner uh, upper left corner of the screen will not be 75 it will be 120 because they will be double it will be double the cap uh, I, I, the, the, I mean the, the cap FPS which is 60 so there it dipped a little bit because this game is pretty demanding and that's it guys that's what I wanted to show you that's the video recording there and uh, let me know if you have any questions again um, I'll provide the link to this app if you're interested and it, it works on the finals and um, but yeah really really excited about the potential of this and uh, and uh, yeah let me know your thoughts if this was useful helpful check out the other two videos where I talked about the lossless scaling if I missed anything but um, that's pretty much it um, thank you for your attention guys I'll see you on the next one peace and have a good one and God bless and goodbye happy gaming and uh, let's try to get the highest FPS we can get uh, with the lowest end hardware as possible and saving our money to get be able to um, fight these big tyrants of the giant corporations uh, Nvidia in particular not that I'm hating on them but um you know the of ever you know these GPUs are overpriced and like with a seven dollar app I can take my constant 
frame per second and double that with it with some minor sacrifices as a little bit of tearing a little bit of ghosting and um, you know seven dollars out of my out of your pocket that this app costs all right guys that's enough of my marketing again i'm not sponsored i'm just trying to find solutions i'm really intrigued by this lost the scaling app and i hope you uh, found some usefulness of it i'll see you guys on the next video and goodbye